hi welcome to my channel my name is Christina thank you guys for watching sharing subscribing liking hope all is well um, you are free to um, do whatever you want on my channel you're free if you don't want to subscribe if you don't want to follow you don't but you're definitely free to do what you want to do I'm sorry I want to talk to you guys about a lot of stuff oh my god I have so many things to talk to you about okay so I wanted to just share my experience about my childhood with you okay because I'm older than I look and I can't remember I probably talked about this before but I can remember maybe being four seeing E.T. I can't remember S.T.T. being maybe six or seven or eight and seeing them plain as they like I'm looking at myself seeing E.T. and so I'm saying that to say that some of us are so awakened even from birth and they know this they know that they know that you're awakened. They know who you are. You might think that you're a child or you might see yourself as a child, but you are still connected to the cosmic parents. You're still connected to your cosmic parents. You're still connected to your cosmic identity. And so, um, and so even though you're a child, you still have abilities. Why do you think that as a child you have abilities and gifts and can see these things? Why do you think children are so sensitive to energies and so sensitive to things? They know things, I'm telling you. And um, even now, I've been just like dealing a lot with children. Every time that I'm connected with, um, every time that I'm contacted by these children, these light babies, you have to be careful. You have to, if you're contacted by them, they trust you. I mean, they they trust you. You also have to protect them. If you ever come in contact with a rainbow child, an indigo child, a crystal child, a light green child, a star seed child, I feel like these are children. These are babies. They're very high vibrational. Um, they're beautiful. They're fun. They're loving. They're caring. They're kind. They're just so. They're just so amazing. If you come in contact with them, you definitely do have to watch over them because I'm gonna tell you something. There is definitely a war going on um, for these children to come into the world, to be a part of the world, to be here with us, and to um, versus more of the same type of children being born. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not kidding. Um, I'm really not putting anyone down or anything, but there are constant, we are constantly seeing the same type of generations. We are constantly still seeing the same type of trends, still constantly seeing the same type of patterns that lets us know there is, um, there's a way to change that. Okay? There's a way to change that and bring higher dimensional children into the world and change the future generation change the world, change the energies of the planet. This is what a lot of a lot of people don't want you to know. A lot of people don't talk about. This is what the intermediaries intermediaries don't want you to know that you do have access to all of these things. These intermediaries these intermediaries being as one, I was definitely a Christian. I was born into it but I never I could never adopt it. Okay, and let me tell you if you have children, be very careful about what you do with your children in terms of dedicating them to these gods. You might not think of nothing of dedicating your child to these gods. You don't know these gods. Okay? You don't have a food that these gods are that you're donating your child to. So, now that you're awakening and now that you're awakening and you might have done these things, you might have christened your child, you might have baptized your child, you might have dedicated your child to these churches and these synagogues and these pastors and these things. You have to be careful. A lot of these churches are cults, okay? And you know what is so funny is that we look at Freemasons and we look at the Illuminati and we look at the regular stuff, but it's all the same. It's really all the same thing. It's all of the same circle. I sat here one time and I was just looking. Sometimes I get so much messages, but sometimes because I get so so much truthful messages and because my I'm giving so much information, they sometimes try to keep my channel of communication between the higher dimensions closed. They literally try to close because I have expanded my awareness and I have expanded my consciousness so much they don't like that a lot of you guys are possibly being challenged and being changed and you want to be transformed and you have to be transformed so 
because of that, because I'm expanding my knowledge and because I'm getting these messages, sometimes they try to block my channel and close my channel. And these are these intermediaries. But you have to be very careful because I was sitting here one time and I was getting a message about the church, one of the churches that I used to go to. And I was just looking at them, how they used to sit there. And I was looking at the pictures of the Freemasons, how the Freemasons used to sit in their, in their uh, meetings as well. And I, I, t I kid you not, there was no difference. Energetically, there was no fucking difference. I'm sorry. There's no difference. And I was just there. And even even last night, I was in my room. No, this morning. Um, I've been having so much different downloads. And I've been um, expanding my energy field so much. My quantum field so much. And I was just there. And I was getting these images of the goddamn Bible. And I still remember, I could never read that shit. I could never read the damn Bible. Every time I read the Bible, it used to get me so mad. If you know the history about this Bible and who and who is behind it, and you know where the truth, the truth of there's really there's no Bible. There is a alchemic structure of law, alchemy, spiritual alchemy, frequency work, ascension. That is what. That is what the true book of knowledge is about. It's about ascension. Is about uniting the tribes into one and ascending and becoming the law of one and living according to divine plan and living according to the true cosmic parents, not these intermediaries, because your true cosmic parents are God's source. Okay, God's source is God. There is no intermediaries. Okay, God's source is God. And let me tell you something: when you get when you get this information, your intermediaries are going to hunch you down when you are no longer paying tithes that's exactly why you're threatening so much how do you why do you why do you think that you're in church and you're getting threatened if you stop paying tithes if you stop giving money if you stop doing this if you stop if you stop what does that sound like does that sound stop that well does that not sound like the goddamn mafia <laughs> Does that not sound like the goddamn mafia telling you that shit? If you don't pay me my money, I'm gonna do this, 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 you're gonna go to hell, you're gonna go to this, and that's also fake as well. Okay, that's also very mysterious, really no. <laughs> These are, I'm telling you, what they do is they trap your soul and they bring you back and they do it all over again and they take your money every lifetime and they take your children every lifetime. They take your happiness, you never accomplish it. That's what they're doing. Okay, it, they're really, that's the hell. It's never being reunited with your cosmic family. That is what the hell is. So, there's so much more that I want to talk about in terms of the, um, in terms of the, um, the churches and them dedicating your children, you dedicating your children to these churches that are cults, that are demonic, that are satanic, that are false. You are dedicating your children to, um, you are dedicating your children to um, demonic forces you are dedicating your children to entities which is probably why I was seeing them because I was even though I was seeing them they weren't hurting me but I because I was always a light child if you look at my pictures which I will I'm gonna come do like a little I'm gonna do something with my pictures if you look at my pictures I was always very bright I mean, like, my aura was always bright. My aura was always very bright. And so even though I had been dedicated to these gods and did all this bullshit and baptized and christened and dedicated to these blood covenants, because they are blood covenants, they're, into, they're binding. They're bindings. They're dedicated. Why do you think everybody in church is a pedophile? Why do you think everybody in church is a secret lesbian? Why do you think everybody in church is a secret? Why do you think the popes are raping these little boys? Why do you think these things are happening? I mean, why do you think that these things are happening? Why do you think that everybody in church and in that religious sector have so much secrets and there's so much obscenity in that? And that's exactly what I'm getting at. You see these pastors are constantly raping these children. That's just like exactly what I'm talking about. When you are connected with these spiritual babies, when they come to you, you do have to protect them because they have to go somewhere. They need guardians, okay, so you do definitely do have to watch over them because look at what is happening. That's what the war is about too. These dark beings, they use these children, they sacrifice these children, and you know what? They rape these children and they do all kinds of stuff to these children. So you do have to be very careful. This is exactly what I'm talking about. 
in terms of the um, be dedicating your children to God, and dedicating your children and baptizing them, person and look at who, look at what is happening behind it. Look, look at what is happening behind it. Um, the other day I was doing my meditation and I, I was in some church. Not in, not in, not in my, not in, not even in my country, but I was in one of the massive churches that are massively known for doing obscenity. And I was like, what am I doing here? But they know, they can tell, they, this is what I'm saying, they can sense your energy, they can sense who you are, they know who you are. And so don't be afraid if you're confronted by entities or if you're confronted by demons or if you're confronted by any organization or corporate structures or corporate entities. Do not, you know, maintain your light, maintain your dignity. And, um, and that is the message I have for you. Please do let me, um, please do like, share, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching.